Hi, welcome to this short video. This is the second video that I've made so far on my new camera. So it's been hmm, four weeks, I think, since I uh, got hold of the Sony ZV-1, uh, or should I say ZV-1, seeing as we are actually in the UK. But it seems to be the way that everybody pronounces it, so I might as well go with the flow and call it the ZV-1 as well. But anyway, if you're considering buying one of these cameras, then I can absolutely highly recommend it. It is brilliant. Now, in the last four weeks, I've managed to get my hands on quite a few accessories. And that's basically what this video is about. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you expansion frames and two different types of tripods, two different types of microphones, a different way of power in the camera, and a wide angle slash macro lens converter. I think it's also really important to tell you at this stage that all of the things that you're going to see have been bought by me, um, mostly through Amazon in actual fact. So just to let you know that nobody has paid me or even asked me to do this video and uh, I'm not receiving any reward for it or anything like that. Literally, I'm doing it because I like these products and I would like to share them with you because I think that you'd also like them. So there you go. Most of them are available from Amazon um, or eBay for sure. So let's jump in. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, so first item in the lineup is this. It's the Joby Gorillapod 3K Pro Kit. And in comparison to the standard 3K, the main difference is the leg structure is a lot more sturdy and also the way that it mounts onto the camera um, is a lot more professional. It's got this anodized uh, red ball type uh, effect which seems to be silicon damped. So when you actually move the knobs and you turn the camera, it seems to be very, very, very smooth. As you can probably imagine, you can bend the legs in all different directions. So if you wanted to attach it to a tree branch or just on uneven ground, then this is the tripod for you. It gives you a lot of confidence that you're not going to drop your pride and joy. The knobs are very, very smooth. I don't know whether they're damped with silicon, but you can see how easy they move. And that ball joint really offers you a full articulation of the camera in all directions. The quick disconnect mount works really well. Literally, you just unscrew it and then lift the camera off. It's nice and safe. It gives you the feeling that it's not going to fall off. Also, as you can see underneath the camera, on the quick disconnect mount, it comes with a thumb screw so you can easily attach and detach the plate without the need for any tools. Next up, we've got this expansion bracket by the company Niwa, I think that's how you say it, and they've called this the ZV-1 camera base. Now, the beauty of this is it allows you to attach a tripod to the camera and leave it attached even if you want to replace the camera battery. Quite a few manufacturers slip up here. They make it so that you have to take a tripod off in order to swap the, the battery. Here you'll see on the base you've actually got six mounting holes. So it's very easy to position your tripod in such a way that you can leave the tripod on even when you open the battery bay you'll see that you also get a fold-out cold shoe for extra accessories and a 3 8 screw thread to attach even more accessories. Next up is the Ulanzi MT33 tripod. Very, very similar in actual fact to the Joby one. Um, this one has um, adjustable legs um, and you get the feeling again that this is very, very sturdy. The big difference with this one is uh, the mounting part where you mount the camera actually doubles up to uh, cater for holding a mobile phone as well. And on top of that, it's also got a cold shoe mount. On the side, it's got another cold shoe mount and it's also got the thread for a 3 8 inch nut for further accessory mounting. Next up, we've got a wide angle lens converter. Now, there's loads of information on the internet about this, so I won't bore you. But basically, with this, it, it gives you a much wider angle of view. But the other thing is, it also acts as a macro. 
it's really easy to fit the lens onto the camera and it doesn't damage the camera plus also you could take it off and it would leave the camera completely unblemished if you wanted to sell it on so compact cameras will always suffer from bad battery life just because of the sheer size so therefore what you can do is you can buy this triple charger complete with three aftermarket batteries so you've got four batteries in total so you'll never ever run out of power and these are powered by usb so really really convenient for charging on the go with maybe a power bank Here's one of my favourite accessories that I've had for quite a while now. It's the Rode Wireless Go. It's a lavalier microphone wireless, so you attach it to your camera and you attach the microphone to your body and basically you can just talk and the audio sounds perfect everywhere that you go. If there really was one accessory that I could own only, it would be this. Another brilliant microphone by Rode is this omnidirectional shotgun microphone that literally you put on top of the camera, it comes complete with a muffler to cancel out any wind noise and again this is a must have. When we talk about battery life on the camera this is an ideal option. This allows us to plug the camera into a USB port and take power from that port which is ideal if we're going to be using the camera over a long period of time maybe as a webcam because the camera does make a superb webcam so there you go i hope you enjoyed the video um, i really enjoyed making it and uh, and i hope it's helped you if you did enjoy the video then why not go ahead and click like and subscribe and then check back later and you'll find some other videos as well thanks a lot for watching take care bye bye for now